All right, it is 510 now in Dubai and it should be 640 in India. We shall start our second session and uh, Merry Christmas to all of you, all your family members. So this is, this is also a day 11 years back, so-called Guru Kripa happened on this day. Um, in Kopoli camp of Guruji Prem Nirmalji. And that is the time also I surrendered, you know, all earlier uh, and same day, uh, I took in some kind of oath that smoking, drinking and non-veg food, I will not take thereafter. And it is the 11th year, I didn't touch. <laughs> all this it doesn't matter actually now i'm just saying for the uh, information sake it is it doesn't matter okay just for just to inform you that it is possible you have you all of you know my life story I have spiritual journey i shared uh, <clears throat> i think uh, one and a half years back uh, um, then you can go there and find that uh, actually when it has happened it is actually a process it is and it is, it is Pranam Vikas. So it is with uh, Mars with uh, also the Christmas. So again, lots of love and lots of blessings on this occasion of uh, Christmas. All right, so we'll now start our, uh, this learning session. And today we will talk about the universal law number 12. And this, the universal law number 12 says that you get what you deserve, not what you desire. So this also uh, comes from a level of understanding how our ego mind works. Um, and already we have discussed several things about the karmic accounts. All this will be in play. We have already earlier learned about our um, conditionings and patterns and subconscious, okay. how it works and like that different aspects. So all will be now addressed into this session To And what will be the, then we'll discuss about that. Uh, we'll break some few myths on this, how to get something implemented in our life. And then we'll go ahead with the further uh, discussion of the different techniques, how we can improve that and implementation uh, can happen. And then the overall goal, which direction we are working. So this is the, the complete, you can say, agenda of today's uh, learning session. Of course, there'll be question answer session to so keep your question answer ready. If you have, just note down during the session, you can ask at the end of it. All right, so now let us understand that what does that desire means? So desire means something we are looking for, something we are expecting, something we are interested in. This actually comes as a thought. Thought of self-satisfaction or gratification. Like we need to, if I get this, I will, I will be happy. This, this idea. So it started with an idea and it's a form of a thought. So when we repeatedly run the same thought again and again and again, that becomes our desire. So suppose you wanted to, you know, um, travel to some place, but it is not happening. So like it's far away place. Um, it's not happening. They wanted to go to Paris. It is not happening because of so many reasons. So that thought that if I go there, I'll be happy. I'll spend holidays or whatever. So that becomes your desire. Okay. And then what happens is you keep repeating it so that the thought of going there and we will be happy and this kind of thing that becomes your, that becomes your part of your agenda or you know, desire to do that. It can be having a kind of desire to have uh, some food 
a particular type of food or it can have a desire to have some relationship with someone. It can be many ways, but all these are originated from thought and that thought is governed by self-satisfaction or, or self-gratification. Like if I eat that kind of thing, that kind of preparation, then I will be happy. I will enjoy. This is, I'm not saying right and wrong here. I'm saying that is how it works. Yeah. So that is, uh, it is normal. People can have looking for something and uh, that's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong there. But the thing is, most of the time, it doesn't happen. What we, what we plan for, it doesn't happen. Then we get upset, we get angry, we blame people and uh, and uh, end of it, if we don't find anyone to blame to, then we blame on our fate, you know. And uh, we blame universe, we blame God and uh, everybody. Yeah? At the highest level of authority, blame goes. Okay. And then also, if it is the extreme cases, we fall into poor me syndrome that I mentioned many times because it is a serious issue that feeling yourself as a victim is a serious issue. Yeah. It can lead to anyone to the suicidal tendencies. It is the worst form of thing can happen and the depression and other things. Yeah. So that's why we need to be careful. You know, life is a gift. It is not to be judged and you know, end of it, you play victim and take leave. This is not the purpose of life. In that sense, anybody can quit at any time. Everybody has a free will, but this is not given for that. Okay. Some, some responsibilities are given to you, not for quitting, to pass through that experience to implement it and pass through the experiences, whatever possible, you need not to be at the best. Maybe you don't meant to be a best from the soul point of view. And one day I explained earlier that soul's plan, not necessarily the success of soul's plan, not necessarily match with the success we look at it. Suppose going to the sports, one sports person going to Olympic, get a gold medal, maybe that is achievement from the sports person point of view. Uh, but from soul's point of view, maybe that particular life, it is, it is chosen how to be third place, you know, not necessarily gold medal. That is a purpose. So how to, how you experience being on the third. That is the, that is, that is the experience you came here for. So you cannot get that at all. Because it is not planned. Hmm. Anyway, so nothing to get frustrated about and saying deprived about. Just take the learning lesson and move on. Hmm. So best strategy will be whatever life is offering. You know, there is a saying, if a life is uh, offering a sour taste like a lemon, yeah, make a lemonade out of it. At least use, best use of whatever you have. <laughs> so, so that is the right approach to lead a life, you know, and why the desire comes into the play because desire, we have already gone into detail of how expectation works. Expectation are root causes of all our unhappiness. Higher the expectation, bigger the chances of getting unhappy. Okay. If there is no expectation, a then you get something. It will be like a gift. You, you, you think, thank you. I got a gift. But if you expect something this and you got this, it looks like you are a loser. Okay. So it is all about expectation. Nothing to do with whatever you get it. Hmm. Now, why we need this? Okay. Because our ego mind doesn't satisfy with the small things, little things. It was big, top, best, you know, already on the top. Yeah. So you know, it is uh, in the least, it has to be on the top and the, in the power, it's the highest power. In the wealth, it is a maximum wealth. If it is a ownership of house, it's a very big house. If the land it is a very big land, okay, everything big, highest, best, 
that our ego is looking for. Now, these kind of desires, as I mentioned it to you, it comes from our thought mind. And our thought is controlled by our ego. You know, thoughts are the instrument of ego. <clears throat> And those kind of thoughts are generated out of our patterns, our habits, whatever our subconscious patterns, even if you consciously don't know. But if you analyze a certain situation, how you reacted, maybe last, say, 10 or 20 years, you will be surprised to see in the similar situation, you acted or reacted similar way. So from where this is coming? It is coming from your subconscious pattern. You exactly act the similar way. So this is the kind of thing is conditioning. So we also discussed in a separate session, the childhood conditioning, educational conditioning, parental conditioning, social conditioning, religious conditioning, political conditioning, conditioning after conditioning we have gone through. It is difficult for us to see through the truth by leaving the layers of that. So many curtains are there towards the sunlight that we lost how sunlight looks like because we need to remove so many curtains one after another to look at the sun or sunlight to come in to where we live in our, our, the, um, in our life. So same way, the spiritual masters are doing that. They are removing those kinds of curtains one by one to, so that you can see the truth. Sometimes it is just simply message they got through. Sometimes message doesn't got through. Then the master need to hammer them out them, remove that. That is a part of the job of the masters. But they're also having a risk. If the master give a little bit higher toes, the people run away. So, okay. So that is also there. So, it has to be understood that it is your best interest because master, they don't have any interest whatsoever. They don't have any, not even a thank you. you know, it's all about how to benefit you, how to, how to make your life worth living. Hmm. They are working towards that. Only thing you have to be removed, nothing physical, only misunderstandings need to be removed. In the light of awareness, those will be automatically removed. So they are bringing light of awareness and their operating level is compassion. Compassion is love in action. Okay, that's which is a different direction we are going now. So let me come back. So how the desires forms through our thoughts, from where the thoughts come, from our subconscious patterns or our habits, or it is governed by our ego. Unless until ego gives a stamp that it we doesn't act on it. You know. Some thought is just to, you know, go, I wanted to be in the competition. I wanted to be the top. Nothing wrong in that. It's okay. But the means we follow, that matters. Nothing wrong in having to get something. But if we don't get it directly, people, people say that, Okay, Siddha Ungli se ghine nikalta ta ungli teda karna chahiye. All this kind of stuff, na? it is coming from your ego. We need to get it by hook or crook. At any cost, what does that mean? Okay. Suppose if I know my son is a mediocre and he cannot get some, be first in the class. If I tell my son, that I need you to be the first by hook or crook. Son knows that he cannot achieve that normally. What do you think that son will be undergoing? What kind of thought he will bring it to make it happen? Okay, there lies the fallacy. Okay, there lies the ego play. Either you bind karma or you get caught, or get punished or anything can happen. <clears throat> okay, you it will be completely dislodged from there because in the path of satisfying your desire you have done those mistakes and also mistakes are done because of impatience 
because ego cannot delay gratification. It is instant gratification. Everything you want it right now. So many things have developed. A lot of business have been developed to get everything instantly. Okay. Even if I'm hungry, within half an hour, I need pizza. So that, there is a business for that. Okay. From where this is coming? I, I cannot plan that. Okay. I, I will have dinner at nine o'clock. So I can order sometime. It will come maybe nine, nine thirty. But what's a big deal? <laughs> okay. But it is made a big deal. Everywhere. This is the symptoms of ego. Ego cannot delay gratification. But it needs, it needs badly, and it is now. Okay. So these things we have seen played in many, many levels, you know, in, in, uh, in, uh, in our relationships also, you know, and um, also in uh, the way of we earn money and uh, live our life everywhere. We are running for nothing. Yeah. So end of the day, we just burn a lot of our effort and thing like that and become frustrated or, or we get so much addicted to winning that we keep winning at any cost and that becomes the whatever we own it doesn't matter then we go for the next then go for the next you fall in the trap <clears throat> anyway so i hope that the how desire works it's clear started with the th thought prompted by ego mostly coming from our patterns and it needs for the self-satisfaction, self-gratification, expectations, and all those kind of things. All these, they rule our desire. And that is why it, most of the time, you will we'll see that whatever you desire, we are not getting it. So now the second part of analysis is why we are not getting it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because every, everything in the universe that works. Creator creates many things. We are one of them, one part of the creator. The creator or universal consciousness, I intentionally don't use the word God because God is most misunderstood, misinterpreted term. The top of the list, next is love. Most misunderstood, you know, misinterpreted term by normal human being. That's why I don't use God because the moment I say God, you will bring the picture of God you had in your mind into this. I don't want that. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's a creator, the source from where it all came. It's all infinitely powerful, that energy bundle from where we all got created. I'm talking about that. Whatever you desire is a minor thing. You know, like that well, Hatka Dhul and something. It, it doesn't matter. Whatever you wish for. It created the universe. Don't you think it can create whatever you minor things here and there you are asking for? Definitely yes. So why this is not happening? You say, oh, I, I do this. I do, you know, so many places. Uh, I just, uh, I, I, every day I ask for it. <clears throat> Uh, but all, whatever you do, all you do in a mind level huh? or in a verbal level, <clears throat> it does not reach there. Okay. Suppose I need to communicate with you. I need a proper media, right? This is, this is a, whatever in my laptop is going to your laptop or mobile through certain media certain waves and it has got its own management like it goes to a certain tower and then tower to it goes to certain satellite and go to another satellite then comes to another tower then reaches to you we can communicate how it matters that it is uh, uh, that we <clears throat> i shout saying that it will reach you no <laughs> there is no medium to reach you no matter how loud i shout maybe it will go to the next one street after my house, that's it. So we need to, we need to communicate with the right bandwidth. We need to use the media to confirm. So to reach something to that level, we need the divine medium. 
डिवाइन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी टू रीच देयर सो दैट ऑल्सो दैट डिवाइन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी डजेंट अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश doesn't understand your thought it can only understand the vibrations created by your thought vibration created by your words it can pick up that vibration and it responds accordingly universe is not rewarding you or punishing you it is just responding to your vibration vibration is a language of the universe vibration is everything so we need to learn how to convert our intention into a right kind of vibration so that reaches there and response will come okay this vibrational aspect we call our cellular vibrancy or is called pvf personal energetic vibrational frequency or also it is called pvf personal vibration all are same don't bother into the terminology it's all about your own vibration <clears throat> okay earlier i said that you prayed that uh, you give me this give me that uh, so whenever i visit some place of worship a big list of demands you give me this you give me that and i deserve this i deserve that i deserve. that's what you claim huh? you deserve that <clears throat> and uh, big list but also so many complaints you know i didn't get that okay uh, i don't you know my life is full of poverty and people cheated me and people do miss wrong things to me all things you so in this process what you are doing you are verbalizing things hmm, or thought wise you are generating sex signals so if somebody who doesn't understand your language yeah, they get the vibrations of time to time some partly suppose you um, somebody doesn't uh, understand english very well yeah, so they will pick up few catch words here and there no okay somebody who, what what is saying poverty uh, cheated loss those creates those vibrations and those vibration will get attracted to you because it is not the overall what is your intention whatever you wanted to say it will not understand because it it works in a different language which is a vibration the thoughts you are creating that creates that vibration so that's why in the earlier universal law it is said be careful what you think what you think will get manifested but the question is it will not manifest the chosen ones only what you choose only this 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 you manifest but this 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 i didn't mean it doesn't matter <laughs> whether i mean it or not it is passing through your mind it is thought it will give equal importance so if your mind is full of complaining and this and you know the life is misery life is this and that those are the things more things will get attracted because that is a vibration you are creating okay or when you go for prayer you said i want money i want wealth i want health okay nothing wrong in wanting but perpetually you will be in the wanting form how many times want came you want wealth want wealth there is something feel called tathastu field you know universe is tathastu want health you keep on wanting health you will keep on wanting wealth years after year you keep on be wanting give me this give me that you will keep on keep on keep in in that sense so that's why the, all the spiritual masters teach when you verbalize something when you pray something make it an affirmative mode as if you have it people ask me i am sir i am wealthy i am healthy i am i have it that you should phrase it people become too smart they ask how i can say that i don't have it how can I, should i fake it yes you fake it fake it to make it 
because if you verbalize that that your whole overall sentence is not understood by the by the creator so those things will be picked up the vibration of those words will be picked up and that's why you cannot come out of that and <clears throat> this is when you understand this then we go one step further you realize even if you you don't know what is in your best interest i have, sh I have shared another story earlier day narvekar was there his uh, previous some um, businessman he got within two months he got so much of profit he, he bought a mercedes and within two months he met in with accident and was you know he was paralyzed the rest of his life huh? so asking mercedes is fine but what is coming you don't know so we were going to the higher level of spiritual awareness this surrender i also don't know what is in my best interest i accept all divine will and that is the best way possible and i'm grateful for whatever i have that is called living in attitude of gratitude because that is takes your vibration in the highest level okay that i will come back when i will talk about how to raise vibrations okay so now to get something we need to catch that bandwidth okay you raise your vibration cellular vibration higher and higher and higher one point of time you will touch upon some bandwidth which is the communication channel of the divine the creator so make yourself worthy of having that communicating and receiving you have not got to that channel yet he wanted to go from you know location a to location b you know at least suppose you go by air you buy the air ticket you do the all formalities check in and then you go and go and sit in the aircraft then only you will be taken na? how how does it matter from here say i wanted to go there i wanted to so i wanted to go but what about the rest of the things you have not come to the the requisite to travel same here unless and until raise your vibration to a certain level you are not in the communication things at all if you don't board the aircraft how you expect to travel your wish cannot make you to fly this part you need to do you need to understand you need to learn and then you do that then communication will happen then you can choose uh, things and it will happen and so and so forth same here so now the question is that that is why why we so many of our desires don't get manifested because we don't vibrate at that level that's why you could not receive universe can give us anything as i explain so the infinite power uh, we go with taking one cup yeah and asking for something you know we are holding cup and like this sometimes our stupidity holding cup like this divine grace is showering we are not collecting anything because we are not in tune with the universe has to learn how to collect how to communicate how to ask okay some people say coming and asking something me in chinese i will not understand He said, "I asked five times; he didn't give me. You ask me in Chinese; I don't understand Chinese. How I can give you? Okay. So, and this thing first to understand, learn the language which can reach up to the top, and communicate precisely, without any hanky panky. Very precisely. We have manifestation techniques. Also, we have we have taught, and then." you just it will divine time it will be given because the time it divides because as i said not everything is right for us at the right moment i have given you example of a small child asking 10 rupees from mother for a chocolate and asking 50000 rupees for a mobile huh? mother will not give 50000 it doesn't mean that mother doesn't have it you increase your deserving capacity 
the same child when becomes say 18 years old mother will give it okay now you need a mobile phone okay take it <clears throat> so it is all about raising your deserving capacity and how to raise the deserving capacity by increasing your vibration okay now this raising this when we understand this so this has been come out of a research of a book by dr david hawkins we mentioned about the book several times power versus force he has done 40 years research on this basically his research was about consciousness mapping but finally uh, he has come out with some kind of uh, his results in the simple form he has given a table actually it's a cone solid cone um, with the picture you can say that uh, the, the 250 hertz is the neutral vibration below 250 is negative you know, hatred jealousy anger and all these things are there above 250 are positive things you know encouragement hope and uh, this type of stuff so these things vibration wise no matter wherever you are you have to aim towards going to the higher level normally way do we operate the ego operates with the help of intellect what is the intelligence we have okay listen this part very carefully as ego operates with the intellect the intellect has a maximum vibration of 499 it cannot go beyond that intellect or brain power if you learn many things you are fantastic you want it to be the top of the world you can go up to 499 vibration not beyond that there is the highest level possible go through intellect your power all like a manipura uh, it's like up to Manipura is our ambitions and because those are governed by ego. Ego is needed. I'm not saying ego, you don't need ego. Ego is needed. But understand the capacity of the ego. It cannot go beyond. If you do highly intellectual work all along your life, you will reach up to 499. That's it. Read many books, whatever, make you know post doctorate double doctorate uh, best university in the world whatever you will not go beyond that because beyond that is controlled by feeling not knowledge okay it is a human capacity we have 500 heart chakra opens <clears throat> opens the pure love means it is the faculty which is opened there that's what we have a constitu constituted. We are made out of pure love. The divine feminine energy. We made out of pure love energy. Prema Sarupa. I have hundreds of times I mentioned this. Okay. That faculty, what you are made of, it gets opened when you cross 500. Otherwise, you don't touch the, the you know, creator at all. You are just running in a theater stage in the lower chakras, not the reality. Reality means the universal truth. You are operating in a show, it's a game. So all your principles does not apply there. When your heart chakra opens, the feeling comes. Then there is a much higher, it goes more higher and higher. You get more this and your power get universal not selfish you can see in the totality when the 700 plus permanently if you cross you become a divine agent that is so called the permanent broadband connection with the creator so unless until you go there you basically you cannot manifest things you didn't understand that language at all. Good news is that if you have a spiritual master in your life, they can take you there. Every time you do six step meditation, the last step, expanded awareness, all of you definitely cross 700. 
where those fields are in the meditation i tell you, you know this is field of infinite possibility during meditation i guide right take your advice from your higher self and then explore what you need to know because all we are all different our goal of the purpose of life is different what the type of things will experience is different whatever you need to know best guide is your inner guru but then it is possible to get that understanding get that knowledge with the plan for the future etc etc so you have to go to that level and then you put intention not a thought not a desire intention is the energy form before you form a thought some intention thought has been created but the if you, in end it is an energy form to so release that intention and then you leave it to the you know universe to manifest it and but we need to accept the result of that as given by the universe because universe knows what is in the best interest exactly here what is written in you know in the gita they said ma faleshu kadachana don't judge whatever you are asking for in the results you are getting intellectually it sounds foolish you know if i am asking for say 5 i get only 3 what well, it is a failure intellectually but 5 may create more problem that's why those five has been not granted that's what i have given an explanation of the chocolate 10 rupee chocolate giving to a child versus 50000 rupee giving for mobile five may not be good for you we are not understanding that if we give that child 50000 rupees he can get kidnapped people can steal that money instantly from him just ek thappar maar ke leke jayega okay you need to go through under that experience that's why mother is protecting you <clears throat> so same way it works here it is just a matter matter of understanding and awareness you leave it there you know you need not to go to that level what i was telling earlier ki is all yours you decide what is best for me i don't know which is the truth you decide i desire something i leave it to there when will happen how it will happen it's up to you then whatever is right thing for us will come down and we have to just accept with humility so now in the last part i will go into the methods of raising your vibration the question how i can raise my pf a very genuine question it is your own cellular vibrancy yeah so and whenever first thing when you anybody initiated i give a note three pages note okay first page is about 108 stomach breathing second page is about the how to do kriya and third page how to meditate this three pages is good enough to take you up to enlightenment you know you say how can it be it should be a big thesis no 500 pages or something enlightenment in three pages what nonsense <laughs> so, because you don't need in our mind gets it complicated the same one page can be guma phira ke 100 page kar kiya ja sakta tha but nobody will read nobody will understand it will go to kavari wala but anyway the thing is that one page has something what you really need in the morning just 10 minutes it takes if you do 100 and stomach breathing it to raise your vibrations cellular vibrancy okay it will raise your vibrations and if you keep practicing that means you are pouring little little water and raising your level if you don't do few days it will evaporate come down again you keep top up okay like that you need to maintain it during regularly if you keep maintaining regular in that and slowly slowly to start increasing so wherever you are 250 is a neutral 250 will cross then eventually you cross the 500 you will you will see the world in a different way you feel connected to the world rather than blaming the world all this connection will not happen because that faculty is not open 
say many people say i don't understand you will not <laughs> because your the connection the, the receiver is not open how you will understand that that to understand that you need a sensitivity and sensitivity cannot open in the lower vibration as simple as that okay means suppose you wanted to uh, you know um, uh, in the earlier days we used to get some cheap uh, japanese watch na, casio very cheap you can get it in the market from that you wanted to come to some other you know better clock and maybe mobile device now we go to super computer which can or the server which can process microseconds a huge amount of data what is the change between the casio watch and the super computer the clock speed those who have learned electronics they know what i'm talking about the fundamental to run that electronic there is a signal generator yeah. faster that signal generator the higher the output so the job of that casio watch electronic was is limited maybe some clock speed or maybe 1 kilohertz is good enough yeah mm-hmm. but for the super computer you know you need you know so huge high several gigahertz frequency maybe more so that it can do that many of work few millions of work in a microsecond so it is the clock speed the vibration the frequency determines your capacity same here you raise your pvf your deserving capacity will go your value will go go up i am now making a statement okay what we do what is the normal traditional way we do we have been trained at the conditioning you know to get more we have to work more isn't it work hard you know give more effort do it repeatedly this is true for the skills not in our life not everything is life is a skill eh? okay for learning something you know you wanted to be a good orator or speech you need practice you need to good actor you need lot of practice it's fine those are skills but to be successful in life it is not the skill that will take you there it depends upon your value her the value is not dependent upon more hard work you see the many successful people okay let us assume the success in uh, business say okay they have lot of wealth you know what they do half of the time they go and play golf on moving around here and there in private jets that's what they do okay if you see their schedule and so that is the thing do you think they are working 8 hours a day or 10 hours a day never people work for them yeah they don't <clears throat> so the value has something else it's not hard work hard work can take you somewhere of oh, definitely it is needed but that is not all so my take away from this session what i am telling you just note down as a my advice do not work more work more to raise your vibration it will get attracted to you okay should i repeat do not work more work more towards raising your vibration what will happen if you raise your vibration just say we are saying you do not work more raising your vibration. what will happen is when you raise your vibration <clears throat> first thing you will achieve is your mental clarity your mind this all this nonsense going on in your mind it will be calm down in higher vibration mind cannot work means thought cannot be taking you for granted slowly slowly you come to a stage when you will be able to control your thoughts that is a mastery 
like you say now thoughts switch off thought will stop i want thought to plan something or some project what thought start it will start you have to go to that level i am making another statement which will be sound ridiculous but it is true all the sadhanas you do no? spiritual practices just to learn how to make your mind stop no thought that's it at your will and hold it there not just one touch and go hold it that is the your sadhana is all about all the kriya all the practice all meditation and this and that and <clears throat> all you asking for these blessings and for to make your mind thought free and hold it that is your sadhana if you say i can already do it okay fine you don't need any sadhana true you don't need anyone you are a master you don't need anything you are there hold it there for 45 minutes it will god spot will open you will get connected and you will be having that you know the infinite access to that infinite source that's it so raising your vibration being permanently above 700 is enlightenment frequency you will be able to do that stop no thought even your lower level when start increasing you will have a lot of power over your mind the mind unnecessarily think every time 60000 thoughts per day have a state it will come down it will not take your energy away that energy will be used to raise your vibration okay second thing what will happen is one is mind control you will get raising your vibration of full mind control when you get a clarity some ideas will come which is never came before that will make you success in your business or job or whatever you keep thinking and struggling and that will go 10 minutes you take a decision and that's it from the clarity you can see second thing will happen you will improve your health because you are vibrating higher cellular vibrancy higher disease cannot stay there they will run away i am not saying you will be having a champion body or six pack uh, abs no but it will be good enough for running your normal the bodily functions and also it will clean your body from any toxicity which is needed for further spiritual practice our body human body is called the temple of the soul this is the temple from where we connect to our soul the higher consciousness to the creator if our this body functions well then i'll be able to connect if my body is sick paining here paining there and that i will not be, i'll be my attention will go there i can how can i put attention to the higher purposes when my own body is full of pain and aching and all these kind of things it's not possible okay this is the another by product of raising your vibration you will be healthy you will not be a you know mr world but you will be healthy enough to set all the body function you will have a self healing ability even if something as long as body is there something will malfunction and thing like that that's normal but you will be able to self heal that okay this is the second third thing what will happen is more you raise your vibration fear will go out of your system all types of fears because people control us people means outside world control us by injecting fear okay simple and the fear is absence of pure love it is like the darkness there is no such thing called darkness it is simply absence of light there is no physics of darkness there is a physics of light when light comes dark, darkness automatically goes same here when you raise your vibration <clears throat> when your heart chakra opens up you will be feel connected the support you are looking from here and there from people from system from government from your job from your ancestral property from your bank balance will go because you will you will not be fearful of losing them because you are connected to the much much higher thing 
you're then you lose that fear and then you take the decisions fearlessly i'm not saying you misbehave huh? but you know the truth huh? you know high in the awareness when people go very high in the awareness they know all these things they know how people play how the dirty politics people are doing they just smile and move around that is that is the smile of shri krishna lord krishna always is a smile not a kind of smile i know what you are thinking i know what you can do but i am being there my presence is good enough to dispel all this kind of stuff yeah all these are matter of vibrations vibration can create as well as destroy things which is not needed the vibration also can be induced but is a temporary there is sound healing sound there is there externally you can be some people call sound spa you say listen to the events you will get you know higher vibration but those are temporary you cannot hold them to hold them you have to have your inherent thing that's why i am i am recommending more on your 108 stomach breathing three to two stomach breathing rather than depending upon some sounds outside it can also raise your vibration of course yes now art overall vibration also raised we all our vibration has raised because art vibration has raised but that is a different topic but the masters are doing whatever is necessary even from externally to take you there but you need to understand how to hold it you need to understand how to balance there you know if you are standing in a bus and bus takes speed you fall down no? so rather than taking advantage of the bus you fall down break your head so that's why they are careful not to give too much of speed it nothing to do with they cannot do this much speed yes they can but you will fall down so that's why slowly slowly they are increasing the speed and bringing into this in fact our body has already accustomed into the higher frequency the last during covid time it happened i explained earlier our body cellular structure is changing it's now changed already our body is tuned to that frequency but we don't know our mind doesn't know so what we are trying to do bringing the awareness into the picture so that we are aware of it that's it that's it our body has already gone there you know it is already running with the same we will not fall down but only thing we are not convinced that will not fall down because we are so habituated in the previous you know era that we cannot come out of that anyway so what else it does <clears throat> so higher the vibration the fear or any trapped emotion trapped energy get dispelled more moment you go higher that this contamination cannot stay there it it has to be you know the go out of your system so body gets clean body mind and emotions get clean so this is the when you just practice raising your vibration so 108 stomach breathing is one then we do kriya kriya can raise your vibration because chakras are getting activated when chakra gets activated automatically your pf wave goes high then we go into meditation meditation settles that energy and again help us to go higher and higher means some kriya or something you achieve there meditation will distribute it all the cellular level so that you can stay there go next day then again your meditation will do help you to stabilize next like that that is the way forward so same way it will keep raising your vibration as i said you pouring into the reservoir little bit of water every day it will slowly slowly it will rise if you stop pouring then it will start evaporating one day it will be blank again that's why we recommend for the regular practice okay now let me come to the still further on to that one <clears throat> so already we learned all these things some sound sound healing sound vibrations 108 stomach breathing or any stomach breathing per se forget about 108 any healing breath kriya and do meditation <clears throat> all this will help you to raise your vibrations yeah 
Now you can also raise your vibration simply being in the connection with the master. If some person is vibrating high, you are energetically connected. Then you will, you will receive that what is called induced field. Energy that doesn't need time and space. Huh? Even if you connected like a remotely, physically remote, doesn't matter. As long as you are connected to the master, you will receive that energy. Masters just by looking at the glance or maybe just by intention can take you that energy to you. That's how the healing happens. Only thing what you need to do is to be connected with the master. Okay. And how to connect with the master? With love and gratitude. Gratitude invites grace. You respect the channel you have been given. It came from the same source. Somebody is too smart. Oh, I, why do I go through this? I have a Sadhguru is there. I can kind of pray to Sadhguru. He'll get better in it. So don't do this kind of, you know, Magaj Maria. There is a reason for what a lineage is given to you. Respect that lineage. Be grateful of the Guru Tattva which is coming to you. Not the person. No way I am saying that you worship the personality. There are many, many people went wrong. Respect the Guru Tattva which is flowing to you. Don't try to dodge it, bypass it, become smart, bypass and go further. Don't do that because you don't know the whole picture. You don't know the purpose of this. Respect the lineage. How it has arrived to you. Guru Tattva. Okay. This living in a gratitude and attitude of gratitude will continuously supply you grace. Okay. Not that how many times you name Nam Japa and how many photographs you put onto your house. Doesn't matter. Okay. More you are grateful vibrationally. Living in an attitude and gratitude is the highest possible vibration you can keep. You can go and come back in many other vibration. It will help you there. Okay. Also, when you are in a direct contact with the master, see, Kriya can open seven chakras in our body. And that well known. There are many, many chakras beyond our body. When you connect with your master, one on other, the higher chakras get opened, even without you knowing. That allows you to go further into higher vibration and connect to the divinity. Okay, so that's why the satsang, you know, in the name of uh, what is called workshops and things, you take that opportunity to come and meet the master. Maybe master, how are you? Okay, I like to have a cup of tea. Doesn't matter what he says. He or she says. Doesn't matter. As long as you are in the energy field. It transfers. Okay. You need not to do any, any kind of physical activity. It transfers that. That you will get that. And be connected. You raise your. It will also raise your vibration. Some people, uh, they ask... Uh, Guruji, Prem Nirmalji, I don't have time to do, you know, Kriya. I don't have time to meditate. And how can I raise your vibration? Well, Guru Seva Karo. <laughs> you be in the service of Guru. Usko pair dabao, usko chai lake do. And all. It's, it's true. Yeah? Because if you are in the presence of Master, you will get huge amount of, you know, breakthroughs. Yeah? You will say in the ancient time that people are doing that, you know doing seva because they wanted to be attached with the guru the, in the field huh? so many things previously misunderstood maybe hard hundred times hundred and one time it will click okay because of that anyway and um, so it's clear so when you are in the presence of a master you get the induced effect of the higher vibration of the master and your own vibration will go like Suppose, you know, 
you you put uh, let me give an example suppose there is a lake you know still water you know you put a small thermocol piece into the water suppose that is your vibration like you are not moving because thermocol doesn't have a power to create any ripple on the on the surface of the water then somebody came with a big rock and throw the rock into the middle of the water then it will big wave will be created na rock is creating the wave but the thermocol piece will also vibrate in the same wave it need not to do anything it's just to be there it will already rock has done its job only it has to vibrate in that same frequency i hope that idea is clear okay and last point what i uh, uh, need to say about this receiving the energy from uh, the masters highest form of energy transfers happens and instantly when any master gives you holy hug instantly fraction of a second you reach to the same vibration of the master that is the highest level possible also master use it for a very specific you know the cases i personally visited some of the cancer patients and hugged them because they don't have any capacity forget about teaching them kriya you know even three to two stomach breathing they don't have that capacity yeah but they needed that energy badly so that is the way to transfer that energy instantly so that is the ultimate level of the transfer can happen okay and this just same like in the like when a, a, a soft iron come in touch with a magnet soft iron becomes a magnet right instantly it in not to do any work same here okay so that is the ultimate energy transfer can happen instantly no others will take little time but this can happen instantly all right so with this i'll conclude uh, today's learning session so if there is any question i'll be happy to answer that yes chaitali aditi i'll come back to you uh ram guru ji uh one minute monali can you mute your microphone yes mute mute your microphone गुरु तत्व the pray ki thank you for whatever i got from this channel okay that's what you need to be grateful for love and gratitude that's what that is a way of connection no need to see physically oh, thank okay you. thank you all right mm-hmm. okay uh, yes aditi uh, for the past one and half year we are uh, doing the satsang through virtual mode only in view of corona and all these things so my question is the same effect possible through this virtual mode uh, with res- um, uh, in comparison to you know we meet uh, when we used to meet satsang to face to face or i mean physical meeting same effect is not possible okay not uh, because um, actually it will be the effect will be 20% only yeah? okay so okay the reason is there <laughs> because the reason is uh, i'll i'll explain you uh, the reason the reason is when we interact physically not only our physical body we have the energy body and the emotional body and the knowledge body all interact simultaneously right okay that's why i was mentioning even if the master is not saying anything don't think that it's not thing is not happening eh? <laughs> 
Okay. But those higher bodies will be missed. Because this connection is possible only all five bodies, higher two bodies, they are beyond any connection. Only first, you know, um, Annamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha, Manamaya, Gyanamaya, Gyanamaya Kosha. These, these are the, the five, uh, Anandamaya. These are the five Koshas mm -hmm. will interact. So if you are doing this, then of course, we still do. There are other techniques master knows, yeah? if it is needed. Hmm. But simple communication is help you to connect with your, you know, intellect, you know, so that you are visually you see and you can hear and all those things. So five senses are connecting. So it would be 20 percent. The higher level of energetic connection is not possible this, this way. But master knows even that is needed how to do that. OK, OK, understood. OK, but otherwise, because what happens is uh, when you use any kind of electronic, uh, you know, media, they give you a certain bandwidth, huh? multiplexing. Right. Right, yeah, right. They cut at higher and lower frequencies. So that's why all frequency cannot go via media. Not able to capture all the wavelengths and all. Yeah, it cannot go all the vibration and sub frequencies because they cut because the channel is that much. Under understood, understood. Twenty percent reaches you, but it is at least to get twenty percent is a huge. Okay. Hmm. Yes. This it's not a small thing. You know, in comparison it looks small, but Whatever you are getting, it will be huge. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank Manali, you. Thank you, Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Manali, you wanted to something? Yes. Yes, Guruji. I still to ask you one thing, Guruji, that having a thoughtless mind and doing some work with full concentration hmm. are both him or no? Both same. If you con full concentrate, okay. do something. Suppose cooking. If you do it a full concentration, your thought mind will stop. Let me give you one secret uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the secret is thought is the power of your ego mind. Attention is the power of your awareness. When you give full attention, the, you get connected with the awareness. Mind doesn't have power to overpower it. Doesn't have a capacity to overpower it. So when you give attention, thought stops. Okay, this I'm just sharing one higher level secrets. Yeah. Would you like me to repeat? Okay. Attention. Yes, Guruji, is, please. Attention is the instrument of awareness. Consciousness, say. Okay, soul consciousness or universal consciousness. Attention. Yeah? Thought is an instrument of ego, ego mind. When you are giving attention to something, your consciousness takes over. That's why mind gets dropped. It is such an infinitely okay. powerful mind cannot other in absence of attention it can work do and all those kind of things this i normally give example of you know some uh, children are playing in the dark room and some adult enters and things get stopped like that the adult is yes. a representative of awareness it didn't have to do anything simply presence attention things will get stopped automatically okay yes okay and Guruji, one more thing. I was blessed to join you in 2020-23 May, I suppose. And, but I didn't get this three page. I mean, 108 stomach breathing. I got it from the YouTube and learned that technique. And Kriya, whichever you showed us. And okay. meditation. But you told me about the three okay, page. Okay, no now. problem. You send me, a, send me an email ID by WhatsApp. Okay, send me okay, your email. Guruji. I will Thank send you by email. Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank uh, you, Pranam. Okay. Sonika, you wanted to ask something. You no, know, in the beginning, I said you can ask later. Sonika? Okay, um, Somnath, go ahead. Yeah, Pranam, I have two questions. Uh, mm -hmm. Both are unrelated to today's topic. 
uh, one is about uh, organ donation and uh, like uh, posthumously donating body for various causes how mm -hmm. spiritually uh, it is it is advisable or just to know uh, what is the spiritual context of it see uh, donating uh, spiritual uh, i mean um, uh, to be to make it very clear there is no spiritual aspect attached to it okay it's like any other donation hmm. so you you can donate that means whether you donate or don't donate spiritually it will make no difference okay it's like any other donation you, you donate uh, your body that it help others you get their blessings that part is fine hmm. but specifically for getting your spiritual progress you want to donate that is that is not related they are mutually exclusive okay so i will generate some positive karma yes but by donating you will be spiritually evolved don't think like that okay okay, okay. or okay. by not donating you will be doing something harmful also not that's not true that's what is mutually exclusive Uh, it is either irrelevant to the spiritual progress or Correct. spiritual. It is a matter process. of donation. Donating something that's fine. Whatever you you can donate, you donate, and that that's fine. Okay. Okay. A number question is uh, Osho Rajneesh mm -hmm. was an enlightened uh, master. I in as a policy, I don't talk about any other master or what they're teaching. Okay, so I will not comment on that. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Okay, as Pranam. a policy, yeah. Pranam. Okay, God bless him. Yes, Chaitali, another one. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, Guru Ji, I have one more question related to Monali's question. Sometimes mm -hmm. I, uh, most of the, uh, uh, almost every day, um, uh, when I'm in Delhi, I listen uh, to your uh, this uh, teaching uh, workshops, and I think about your. uh sometimes i think about your teachings also so that is my ego mind or what is that then i think about it sorry sorry about sorry i didn't get you you are thinking about some teaching yeah uh, your teachings sometimes yeah. uh, mm. uh i think about your teachings uh, uh what i learned from your class uh, uh so that is my ego mind no no thoughts are the instrument on ego but i didn't say that everything coming to the mind is a ego okay oh okay okay thoughts is an instrument okay. ego can trap you and doing things by thinking but i am not saying everything okay. you think is ego oh okay okay, okay. okay. in fact uh, after that just let me share with you something um you know initially what happens is even post enlightenment then i surrendered to the baba ji then one point of time i shared my spiritual journey baba ji all the personal things you uh, you know contact mata ji then i surrendering my this part the healing and other part to mata ji okay every morning i do that even today you know i'm doing it for last 11 years so means mata ji came little later 2014 but before that baba ji and baba ji mata ji both for last this many years uh, eight years okay now um, what happens is that uh, one point of time initially people used to ask me lot of questions i used to get connect and give them answer the i had something that is it my is it not the case maybe my mind is manipulating it and giving some suggestions no suggestion dene mein kya hai de de tain kuch na kuch so i had some kind of dubidha you can say i am saying things but is it okay is it right is it really happen or is it thing this kind of thing i were in dubidha for some time then i meditated and ask mata ji ki i am in a dharm sankat okay i am advising people and uh, is there anything my mind is tricking me my ego is coming and somehow manipulating that so basically i am manipulating people <clears throat> mata ji said few things uh, so that i like to share with you hmm. mata ji first said you surrendered my life to me right yes 
yes, not life, sorry. You surrendered your free will to me. Free will means words, words and actions that I do every day. Hmm. My life I surrendered to Babaji, but free will I surrendered to Mataji. Okay. Every morning I pray, okay, please guide my thoughts, words and action. You know, every morning. And so, so Mataji is saying that you surrendered your free will to me, correct? Thoughts, words and actions. Said, yes, they do. I do even today also. He says that after surrender, whatever thought comes to your mind that belongs to me. Okay. So that clarifies. Okay. So after that, I didn't have a doubt. And Mataji was further saying that uh, if you don't believe, accept your divinity, who else will? Khudi apka divinity ke upar doubt ho hai, who else will, you know, give accept and further? How can you be channeled when you are doubting your own divinity? And this point, jor ka jhatka dhire se lage. Chota sa point hai, but it is a very huge potential. He is saying after enlightenment, after surrender, after so many years, you still, you consider some thought belong to you. Means you, your ego pura gya nahi hai. Because you are claiming this is my thought. Na? From where that my came? Who are you? <laughs> you got my point? Na? So, wo thappar kha ke, wo jitne chakra ka idhar udhar tha, sab se sida ho gaya pe after. <laughs> okay. So, so Mata ji ka thappar wo powerful hota hai, to after that I never doubted anything. But I, my only job is to make myself clean. There are thought clean, physical body of course, um, you know, mind clean, emotion clean, and that no contamination from any. That is the only job I do. Less things come flow through me. Okay. So after that, I don't doubt even. Mera thought hai, kya hai, kya hone wala hai. Is it really happen or not? Is none of my business. Okay. I don't even remember, to be honest with you. Sometimes people say, oh, do mein pehle na, aapne aisa tha mujhe. I don't remember. Because I, I was connected no it is it doesn't came from my memory that i will recall that memory that's what i say if you want you record it you note it down but i will not remember because it doesn't belong to me okay anyway that's how it works guruji one more question uh, last okay. i got your holy hug on 2019 so mm -hmm. uh, still i have uh, that effect on me, that energy effect on me, still I have? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh thank See, you. This matter, you, you leave it to the divine. Okay. okay. When the opportunity will come, you will have it again. Okay. okay. But it neither enforces nor discounted the first one. Okay. When divine time will come, it will happen. Leave it there. Okay. okay. It okay. does not make anything happen, not happen earlier, later, five years back, two, two days back. Doesn't matter. Okay. okay. In the appropriate time, it will happen. Okay. 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 Thank you, Guruji. Thank you. All right. God bless you. Okay. Yes, Sayashi. Hari Om, I'll come back to you. Uh, Sayashi, yes, go ahead. Yes. Uh, so on the holy, holy hug, um, maybe today I have understood the deeper meaning of it. Uh, mm -hmm. But when I when I had received it, I did not know the end meaning of it. This is deep. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that I did not? I was not able to receive that energy. No, no. You will receive it anyway. It doesn't matter what mind thinks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So only what we do is, but at the same time, you can block it if you have any reservation. No, that's why sometimes we don't give if you feel that other person is in the reservation. No? Reservation can be age or you know, uh, man or man and all this kind of stuff. Those can block it. No? Means you need to receive it in pure form. It is a soul level. There is no gender there. There is no age there. There is no duality there whatsoever. Okay. Sometimes the master, they don't give if you think that the other person is not ready. 
Okay, because something, you know, it, it's nothing to be, you know, it's not a fault. It is it. It is only tells that other person is not ready. Something is coming. Some condition is coming. Something is stopping. So that's why in every workshop I explain it first. This is what it is. Okay. So it is not to be confused with any other hug or any other relationships. It is something which is sacred and pure, and it has to be taken that way. Then it will have the benefit of it. Okay. Yeah, I mean today only I got to know that it is like the instant energy transfer yes, yeah. that happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. And lot. Uh, uh, let let me also share with you some of the you know uh, some of them who actually experience the holy hug. They said it is feel like I'm I'm uh, hugging my own mother. Okay, I'm telling you from where it is coming because Mataji is operating through me. That's why they get that feeling. Okay, when you open up, then you can reach the source of it rather than the zariya. Okay. If you drop that idea of the means of it, you, you feel that. And, and that's how it works. And that is the purpose of it. Hmm. Yeah. What was the second question? Uh, I'll come second back question. Question. second uh, thing is that... Uh... Yeah, uh, you have like uh, share in one of the sessions previously, you have given us a self love meditation. Uh, I was wondering that if there is a uh, there is a way we can do some kind of gratitude meditation as well. Gratitude to the divine for uh, showering continuous blessings to us. No, we, we do it every time we meditate. We do Guru Vandana, we do, you know, Shanti part and all these things. So those are the part of those exercises. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it is a part of that and we can okay. just feel grateful about it and uh, that's it. Okay. And sometime we do some, uh, one, we sing another bhajan type of song, no? Om Mangalam, Om Karma, Mangalam. Yes. Mangala. Those are for the gratitude songs. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that will practice in the workshops and other places. Okay. Okay. Haryom. Thank you, Guruji. Guruji, this uh, yes. session what we have normally, that mm -hmm. is on the visual channel, on the Zoom, their frequencies are limited, but Guru is only mm -hmm. present. Whenever yes. we request, the vibrations are already there. Yes, that's correct. So if there is a specific case, then we send it uh, directly means without passing through the media. No. But I am just talking only what we communicate through media, that technically 20% of energy what Guru is expressing will reach you. That's a, it's a technical thing. I am not saying that is the only way it can reach and other way not possible. I am not saying that. And if suppose like I am very fond of hugging people, what does it signify? As, fond of hugging. as, as a normal human being, um, yeah. some people are very fond of shaking hands, but others are in inhibition of hugging. But uh, no. I always have an urge to hug people whom I like or uh, who not now to yeah. know that all are one. So how, mm. what does it signify? Does it have got any particular connotation or? No, your intention matters. Okay. If your intention is to, you know, uh, transfer energy, higher vibration, pure love, there's nothing wrong in that. Okay. okay. If the intention is not that, yeah, then it is to be forbidden. You have to follow the social norms, not okay. spiritual. Okay. Okay. Thank follow you. the guidelines of the society and do that accordingly. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Aditi wanted to have ask another question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, regarding transfer of energy from Guruji, uh, mm -hmm. how effective is eye-to-eye uh, -eye contact? Oh, very powerful. Very powerful. Very powerful. Yes, eyes are the, we can say, the, soul. Yeah, connection, directly connection to the soul. Yeah. If the guru can give you a gaze huh? yeah. for five seconds, that's good enough. Okay. Okay. So these are the, the these are one the, this is the another way of giving Shaktipat. 
Shaktipats is the Guru's energy he is channeling to the seekers. And that, that's called Shaktipats. Okay. Okay. Yeah, gazing is one of them. You are right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Sonika, Thank you. Bless you. Yes, your questions. Uh, I feel that uh, in my throat, um, how to say, uh, some some new thing or some liquid is uh, spreading in my um, basically in my mouth I can feel something is coming out of my throat. Generally we mm. eat something from mouth and we feel in the throat. But it yeah. is happening vice versa. But the there is no taste. But I can feel something is coming or leaking from my throat which I can feel inside my mouth and on my tongue. It mm -hmm. is tasteless. Is it mm -hmm. something psychologically or spiritual or nothing? Uh, answer is yes and no. <laughs> okay. So, when looking at it, it, it looks like uh, that uh, it is something to do with, uh, you know, cold and thing like that. You know, some kind of congestion maybe. Yeah. That is, it is, uh, if it is not cold related, then it is uh, spiritually what happens is, that something can come in your mouth when we do Khechri Mudra. Okay, I'm now taking talking the spirituality. Hmm. Khechri Mudra, yeah. When you push our tongue backside enough, then with over practice, practice over the years, you go push further and further. It goes to some channel which is goes towards the your nasal channel. Yeah? If you can hold your tongue there during Khechri Mudra, hmm. then your three higher chakras here gets activated. Okay. Guru Chakra, Vindu Chakra and this kind of stuff. Then they say it from there you get something, some the nectar falls down after mm -hmm. opening that Guru Chakra. You know, that you can test with your tongue. But it is tasteless. I will not say taste, but I feel something is like dripping from my neck and coming no, it to is my not mouth. From here. That's what I'm saying. If it is from here, then it is definitely not that what I'm now talking. Yeah? It will come from the channel. You understand what I'm saying? The tongue is there and okay. then there is a, the cavity going up, right? If you can put your rotated tongue up to that place. Yeah, it goes up it. to this level, you know. Um, and meditate, then that gets activated. There are three more chakras here. I'm not talking third eye chakra. So that nectar is not coming from throat, but no, that taste coming is from up, there in yeah, the mouth. Comes, you can see the taste. It is, it is, it is uh, called Sanjeevani Sudha, I think. Uh, it's a sweet taste. Uh, okay, I could correlate comes. it with that uh, uh, Kasturi, which is there in the deer, right? It is there and it feels. So I thought that something is coming inside my body which is there in my mouth throughout the day and night. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There is no taste, but some taste is always there in my mouth. Right. In anyway, but, uh, yeah. some... I, I, I just no feel, when I, I, I don't think it is related to that, what I just spoke. So, you know, there is a possibility, but this particular thing, what you are saying, I don't think it is that. So it should be something coming from your throat. Hmm. But there isn't any congestion and my neck is perfectly fine. But some taste is constantly there in my mouth and I'm feeling mm. it is dripping from my neck. Yeah. I, I mm. felt maybe it is dripping from my neck because that taste is in my mouth and my entire neck. Like mm. when you drink something mint. Yeah, you know, yeah. I know I understand. But this what I'm talking, it doesn't go to the neck. Coming from the top. Okay. So that remains in the mouth only. No. Yeah. Yes, but that remains in the mouth. But in my case, it is in the mouth as well as I feel some yeah, it will not cooling go effect the... here also. Mm -hmm. Mouth and yeah. neck. And this is like mm -hmm. always very cool from inside. Yes, yes. No, no, I, that's okay. Just uh, just to what you practice and see it, it should automatically go actually. Mm -hmm. So for that, there's different types of release can happen, you know, but uh, but they are not related to spirituality. Only one, the, that secretion is related to spirituality is what I told you. Okay. 
All right. Thank you. Okay. God bless you.